Hey, my name is Kathy. I'm the Tidy Tutor, and I'm in New Jersey down the shore. What we call down the shore is the beach. Um, it's, where I am is called Belmar. It's very nice. And um, I was walking to the beach before. It's early morning. It's actually not that early anymore, but it was early before. And while I was there, so many things were racing through my mind about Tidy Tutor and what I could talk about. First of all, I'm going to put this up. Every time I do an early morning one, I get like, oh my god, I can't do that. Look at me, my eyes and no makeup. I just woke up. I don't care. You see me when I look decent. You see me when I don't look decent. We're all the same. You know, I'd like to make you know that this is not normal and usual. Like, people look at me like, what the heck is that lady doing taking pictures of herself and talking? I mean, it is odd, don't you think? All right, wait, I have to hold this better. Let's see, how's the light? Is the light? No. All right, that's better. I belong to a group called Al-Anon, and they say, you know, be happy anyway. You know, have a plan B. Like, your plan A is that your husband comes home from work, and you have dinner together, and afterwards he helps you clean up, or maybe, you know, depending on the um, situation, maybe if you're the stay-at-home mom and, and he digs ditches for a living, then maybe he sits down and talks to you while you clean up dinner because, you know, he's been digging dishes all day. Um, but whatever, you know, your idea is that he comes home from work, you have dinner together, and you share your life. But most times what happens is he doesn't come home from work. You and the kids sit at the table wishing that he did. And um, so what they teach is, is they say, you know, be happy anyway. Enjoy dinner with your children. Don't waste the time that you have, um, you know, worrying about where he is, if he's okay, is he at the bar, why, is, why didn't he call, all of that. You're, you're wasting your now, and you can't get it back. So there's this, you know, plan B. But, you know, one day when I was in Al-Anon and there was a meeting and somebody was talking about how her husband had a relapse and he was now doing drugs again and uh, bringing strange people home and they had a son and he was getting verbally abusive again and she was saying, you know, I'm going to just have to be happy anyway and, you know, when it came around to me, I said, at what point do we say we can't be happy anyway? At what point do we say the way to be happy is to change my situation. Things are not okay. I can't be happy anyway. And what I'm saying by that is, if you're being kicked down the stairs, sorry honey, you can't be happy anyway. Nope. You have to get out of that environment. Now, I'm by no means being kicked down the stairs in my situation, but I'm using that as an illustration. Us people who are find it difficult to keep house, a lot of it has to do with our mentality, our emotional state. And I'm not saying it's an excuse. Remember, there's no excuses. But this is the thing. Just like people who have a hard time with eating, they have to learn that the emotional triggers that makes them want to go for that bag of potato chips or to open up that ice cream in the middle of the night. Those emotional triggers need to be noticed and you need to do something else because the ice cream and the potato chips is not helping. And then there's a spiral and it gets worse and worse. It gets like a, a merry-go-round that you can't get off of. And it's really the same thing with us slobs. We can have a system in place and it could work wonderfully, and it does. My whole life has changed because of the system that I learned from Pam Young and Peggy Jones. Now, this is the thing though. Sometimes when life throws you a curve and you find yourself reaching for that bag of potato chips, but in our case, you find yourself inactive. You know, I know that you know what I mean, that you can sit or stand in the middle of your kitchen for an hour and then look up at the clock and say, oh my God, an hour has gone by. Because of the devastation 
of whatever it is that stops you from being able to move and get something done. Our right side of the brain kicks in with all the creative, joyful, happy thoughts that we have. And then our left side of the brain, which is the administrative side that says, do this, do this, do this. It says, how can you? There's no room for creativity here. Life sucks. You know what I mean? And that's, of course, ridiculous, but it is how we function. So, while I'm not saying that life sucks for me right now, I have never been happier, really. But I do find myself in a place that's difficult to be living. If you're with people, if you're living with people that will not clean up after themselves, if you're feeling like this is not the way I want to live my life and you are not a child, you need to do something about it. You need to take a look and say, what can I do to change this? Sometimes to be happy anyway means I've got to fix things, right? My hair is curling. Can you see that? We're so vain. We're such vain creatures, aren't we? All right, so that's it for this whatever it is. I think I'll just throw it out there as an email. I'm Kathy Roberts. I'm the Tidy Tutor. And I'm not saying throw away what it is that you've got going on in life. A lot of times you could be happy anyway. And a lot of times you can readjust and take a look. Put up the tag and game. Other things, whatever it is that's going on in your life, find answers for it. But sometimes take a look and say, what are the answers? If I'm being kicked down the stairs, figuratively, I need to move. I need to change things. Something has to happen that's different than it is right now. Okay? Well, if, if you feel like this can help anybody, please send it to somebody. And please email me. I'd love to hear from you.